ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا and all praises due to Allah we praise him seek his aid and ask us forgiveness we seek refuge in Allah from the evil which is in ourselves and we seek refuge in Allah from our evil actions man yahdihillah fala mudilla whoever Allah guides there is none who can misguide him wa man yudlil fala hadiyala and whoever Allah chooses to be misguided there is none who can guide him ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika la I bear witness there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. He is alone and he has no partners. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. I also bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he is the worshiper of Allah and his final messenger. Amma ba'd fa inna khayr al-hadith kitab Allah. Thereafter the best speech is the book of Allah. وَخَيْرُ الْهُدَى هُدَى النَّبِيِّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ And the best guidance is the guidance of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. وَإِنَّ الشَّرَّ الْأُمُورُ مُحْدَثَاتُهَا And the most evil affairs are those matters which people have innovated and introduced into Islam. فَإِنَّ كُلَّ مُحْدَثَةٍ بِدْعَةٍ وَكُلَّ بِدْعَةٍ ضَلَانَةٍ وَكُلَّ ضَلَانَةٍ فِي النَّارِ Every innovated matter is a bid'ah. And every bid'ah is misguidance. And every misguidance leads to the fire. Ikhwani ibadullah. We are living in these blessed days. In this blessed month. The month of Ramadan. And the month of Ramadan, what is it? It is only a few days and a few hours. Which pass by very quickly. And this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described the days of fasting. He said, Ayyaman ma'dudat. Just a few short number of days, limited days. Yes, these days are blessed. They contain barakah. They contain goodness. They contain mercy. However, there are only a few short days. We said previously, Ramadan is like a guest. And this guest, when it comes knocking on our doors, it brings many glad tidings, bears many gifts. However, the guest only comes once a year. And when the guest come, it doesn't stay for long. It leaves very quickly. And then the guest is very slow to return again. These days of Ramadan, they pass by very quick. Time passes by quickly. The greatest evidence of this is that only yesterday, we were rejoicing and we were happy with the coming of Ramadan, only yesterday. And today already, Ramadan is leaving. Already the last 10 days have entered. Already the people have entered into their i'tikaf. Already the Masajid have begun making preparations for Eid. Already people are shopping for Eid. Only yesterday, we were saying Ramadan Mubarak. That Ramadan has come or Ramadan is coming. And it felt like nothing but already today, Ramadan is leaving. And now Eid is coming. And this is how life is. This is life. Life does not wait for anybody. And death does not seek permission. Rather, life goes without you realizing. And death comes without telling you, without notifying you. Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu he said, اِرْتَحَلَتِ الدُّنْيَا مُدْبِرَ The dunya, it has started its journey, but it is going away from you. Every day which you live, then more and more of the dunya is leaving you. وَارْتَحَلَتِ الْآخِرَةِ مُقْبِلَ And the akhira, the hereafter, has also begun its journey. However, it is approaching you. So every day which you live, Every day the dunya leaves you and every day the akhirah approaches you. He said, And for each of them are children. They are children of the dunya and there are children of the akhirah. 
He said, رضي الله عنه فكونوا من أبناء الآخرة ولا تكونوا من أبناء الدنيا Be from the children of the Akhirah Do not be from the children of the dunya فاليوم عمل فاليوم عمل ولا حساب Because today there's actions and there's no accountability, there's no reward or punishment for these actions. Whoever, whoever wants to obey Allah, let him obey Allah. Whoever wants to disobey Allah, can do so. Whoever wants to be upon Islam, can be upon Islam. Whoever wants to be upon Kufr, can be upon Kufr. But the punishment is not today. Then he said, وَالْغَدْ حِسَابٌ وَلَا عَمَلٌ However, tomorrow, meaning after death, there is Hisab, there is accountability. There is punishment, there is reward, and then there will be no righteous actions. There will be no more opportunity. On that day, every person will say, Oh my Lord, allow me to go back to the earth. Maybe I can do one more day of goodness. But on that day, there is only hisab, there is only accountability. The books are closed. These are the good deeds which you did, and these are the sins which you did. So the dunya. It's on a journey, it's going away from you. The Akhirah is on a journey, it's approaching you, and you also on a journey. You as well, you're a traveler, and you're going towards the Akhirah. When one of us travels upon this earth, what do we take with us? We take provisions with us. We prepare for the journey. We take with us some food, some drink. We take provisions for us, for the way. And also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us, that this journey of life that you're going through, take your provisions with you. He said, وَتَزَوَّدُوا Take your provisions. Don't go on this journey empty-handed. But then he said, فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ الزَّادِ التَّقْوَى But the best provision which you can take with you is what? It is a taqwa And this month, مَعْشَ الْإِخْوَى This is a month of taqwa. شَهْرُ Ramadan is شَهْرُ taqwa and this life which we are living in, this journey which we are taking, as I mentioned, only a short journey. And this life is temporary. And it is the Akhirah which is eternal. So the intelligent person does not forsake the reward which is eternal for a reward which is temporary. This is not intelligence. Your cars, your houses, your jobs, your money that you're building, all of this will leave you, all of it is temporary. Allah said, وَمَا عِنْدَكُمْ, ما عندكم ينفدو, That that which you have and you possess, it will finish. وَمَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ بَاقْ But that which Allah has will remain forever. So only a foolish person forsakes the reward which is eternal and forever and swaps it for a reward which is temporary only for a short amount of time. And our Iman, as Muslims upon this earth, our Iman, sometimes it increases, sometimes it decreases. Our strength, in terms of spirituality and religion, sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. This is the dunya. Sometimes we find ourselves enthusiastic, sometimes we find ourselves a little bit lazy. Sometimes we are preoccupied by bills, by children, by jobs, by the school run. However, the intelligent person is the one that when there is a time in which the reward for something is increased, then he increases his focus and he's more enthusiastic and he's more energetic to do the good deeds in that time. Why? Like Ramadan. Ramadan is that time now when Allah increases and magnifies the reward for the small actions. So we have to be more enthusiastic in Ramadan to do righteous actions. Because tomorrow when Ramadan enters, you won't be in the masjid like you're coming today. You will not be reciting the amount of Qur'an that you're reciting today. You will not have the opportunity to pray at Qiyam al like you have the opportunity to pray to today. The Prophet وسلم, said, and all of you have heard this hadith. He said, إِذَا كَانَ أَوَّلُ لَيْلَ مِنْ رَمَضَانِ That when the first night of Ramadan enters, the first night of Ramadan, صُفِّدَتْ الشَّيَاطِينَ the shayateen, they are chained away. وَفُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُ الْجَنَّةِ And the doors of Jannah are open. وَأُغْلِقَتْ أَبْوَابُ النَّارِ And the doors of the fire are closed. All of us have heard this hadith. But then the Prophet ﷺ said something else. 
And often this second part of the hadith, it is not mentioned. And people don't know it. Thumma yunadi munadin. And then a caller calls out. Meaning one of the angels calls out. What does he say? Ya baghi al khayr aqbi. O one, O person who wants to do goodness, come. Come forward, do your goodness. Wa ya baghi al shar aqsim. And O one who wants to do evil, stop doing your evil. Fa inna billahi utaqa min al nar. Because Allah has people He will free from the fire. May Allah make us from them. And then the Prophet said, And this happens every single night. I, every single night of Ramadan, an angel calls out. And the angel says, ya al khair The one who wants to do good, start doing your good. Ya al shar and the one who wants to do evil, stop doing your evil. Every single night, Allah has people who will free from the fire. May Allah make us from them. This noble hadith, it shows us what? That people and the souls and nafus are two types. Baghi al-khayr wa baghi al-shar. They are those souls, those people who want to do good. And good is made easy for them. They have the desire in themselves to always do good. Some of them, they have so much goodness in their heart that they don't find enough time in the day to do good, the, the good that they want to do. They don't find enough time to give their sadaqah, to pray their nawafil, to recite their Qur'an, to fast, to give da'wah, to call to the people, to look after the masajid. This is how much goodness that they have. These type of people, if Allah has made you from these type of people, then fa'aqbil. Do your goodness. Don't become lazy. Don't be distracted. Don't let other people put you off. Rather, go towards the goodness. Hasten towards the goodness. Then there are a second group of people, Baghi al-Shar, and they are those whose souls they want evil and they desire evil. Even then, he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that when Ramadan comes, even if you're from those people, stop doing your evil. Why? Because the doors of Jannah are being opened and the doors of Jahannam are being closed. One day the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he climbed, climbed the mimbar. All of a sudden he said, Ameen, 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 just like that. The companions, they said, Ya Rasulullah, Sa'id al Mimbar wa qult Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. O Messenger of Allah, you climbed the pulpit and you said, Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. No dua was made. You didn't make a dua, we didn't make a dua. But you said, Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. Why? He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Qad atani Jibreel. That Jibreel Alayhi Salam, he came to me. And Jibreel alayhi salam said, Man adraka Ramadan, walam yughfar lahu ab'adahu Allah. That whoever lives until Ramadan, lives the days of Ramadan, then his sins are not forgiven. May Allah cause him to be far away. Meaning far away from Jannah. Far away from Rahmah. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, Amin. Then Jibreel said, Man adraka abawayhi fi kibarihima. That whoever met, whoever lived with his parents when they were old in age. And his sins were not forgiven. May Allah make them distant. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ameen. Then Jibreel Alayhi Wasallam said, Man dhukirta indahu. That the one in front of whom your name is mentioned, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Walam yusalli alayka. And he did not send salam upon you, salah upon you. Allah, then may Allah make him distant. Then the Prophet وسلم, said, Ameen. What does this hadith mean? This hadith it means that you've, Allah has given you the opportunity to live through the days of Ramadan. The days in which Allah frees people every single day from the fire. The month in which the doors to Jannah are opened. فَلَمْ يُغْلَقْ مِنْهَا بَابْ And not a single door of Jannah is closed on this day. وَأُغْلِغَتْ أَبْوَابِ الْجَهَنَّمِ And the doors of Jahannam are closed. فَلَمْ يُفْتَحْ مِنْهَا بَابِ And no door of Jahannam remains open. Despite this month, despite you living in these days, you don't bother to even raise your hands in front of Allah to make istighfar. If you are not going to make istighfar and seek repentance and weep over your sins in this month, then which month are you going to 
seek forgiveness. Which days? So the one whom Allah blesses to live in this month, and then he doesn't do the good deeds, he doesn't seek forgiveness, and therefore he dies and his sins are not forgiven. What hope is there for him? And that's why Jibreel said, Allah. May Allah make him distant. Then the Prophet said, Ameen. The same for your two parents. You live with your parents and they are old in age. When they are old in age, this is the time for you to show them obedience. When they are weak and you are young. When they are old and you are energetic. When they are now reliant upon you and you are dependent. <coughs> when now you are standing upon your own feet. This is a time for you to show them obedience, to show them goodness, to help them. This is a time when Allah will forgive you for your sins. Yet you do not do so. Allah. May Allah make that person distant. The third dua, he said, your name was mentioned in front of them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His name was mentioned and you couldn't even be bothered to say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just three or four words. You couldn't be bothered to do so. And so your sins were not forgiven. Allah. May Allah make him distant from Jannah. My brothers and sisters, I ask you a question. What do you think about a dua which Jibreel السلام, is making? And the Ameen, the Prophet وسلم, is saying. And the Sahaba, they are the ones who are witnessing seeing this dua. Do you think this dua will be rejected? And therefore, Ayyuhul Ikhwah, as I mentioned, the Aqil, the intelligent person, is the one that when a time comes in which the sins are forgiven and the doors of Jannah are opened and the doors of Jahannam are closed and the reward for the good deeds are magnified and multiplied then he has energy then his Iman increases then he tries twice as hard because he knows that tomorrow when Ramadan finishes and Eid comes then Iman is going to go down again and my strength and my enthusiasm is going to weaken again. So we have to take opportunity or we have to seize this opportunity. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. واسع الفضل والجود والامتنان جل ذكره وعلى اسمه هو الأول والآخر والظاهر والباطن وهو بكل شيء عليم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد إخواني في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى in the Quran he divided the people into two groups the ones who will be successful, the muflihun, the ones who will be successful in this dunya and the akhirah, wal-dhalimun, and those who oppress themselves. And the only difference between these two groups of people is what? a tawbah Only tawbah and al-istighfar. So in one ayah, Allah Jalla Sha'anu, He said, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا النَّاسَ لَا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ He said, all of you, seek repentance, and istighfar in front of Allah, O oh believers. Then he said, لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So you may be successful. This is the first group. The second group he said, وَمَنْ لَمْ يَتُبْ فَأُولَيْكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ That those people who do not make tawbah, and they do not seek repentance, they are the ظَالِمُونَ They are the ones who are oppressing. Who are they oppressing? Themselves. They are not oppressing anybody. So the one who wants success in this world, he wants to be from the Muflihun. The only thing which is upon him is a tawbah wal istighfar. Seeking forgiveness and repentance. As all of you know and all of you are aware, we have entered into the last 10 blessed days of Ramadan. Even this blessed month, from the greatness of Allah and from the wisdom of Allah, is that He has not made these 30 days equal. These 30 days are better than the whole of the year. But then even these 30 days, Allah did not make equal. <coughs> Some of these days are better than the other days. And these le last 10 days that we are already in are more blessed and more virtuous than the first 20 days of Ramadan. The Prophet ﷺ, whenever the last 10 days of Ramadan entered, what? He would tighten his belt. 
meaning he would increase even further, further in his ibadah. And he'd remain awake at night in dua, in istighfar, in tawbah, in dhikr, in tilawa, in qiyam al layl. And he would awaken his family in order for them to also get these blessings. Meaning the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to worship Allah all throughout the year. Then when Ramadan came, he would increase even more. Then when the last 10 days of Ramadan came, he would increase even further in worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The intelligent person is not the person who starts strongly. The intelligent person is the one who finishes strongly. And always those who are successful, when it comes to the end line, this is when they exert more effort in everything. Horses when they race, people when they race. The most effort that they put in is as they approach the finish line, they put more and more effort in it, more and more energy. And this is success, also when it comes to the Akhirah. So just because a person started Ramadan weekly, or maybe we were negligent, or maybe became, we became lazy, but now the ending is in front of us. And we shouldn't end with laziness. So those who have been doing acts of goodness in the beginning of Ramadan, and there are many of you, alhamdulillah, then increase and do more. And those of us who are lazy and negligent in the beginning of Ramadan, then don't weaken. And the mercy of Allah is wasi'ah, it's expansive. So finish strongly and end with a strong iman. And that's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to make the dua. He used to ask Allah for what? Husn al-khawatim, the best ending. Because it is the ending which counts. And Allah Jalla Shannu, He said in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu taqullah haqqa tuqatih wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. And do not die except in a state of Islam. Because it is the ending which is important. So nobody should be disheartened by shaitan. That all this month you've been doing nothing, you've been wasting time. No, we still have a number of days in front of us. In these days is Laylatul Qadr. This blessed night in which a single act of worship is worth a thousand months of worship. So hasten towards the forgiveness of your Lord. Ibadullah, inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim inna kahmidun majid. اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أذل الشرك والمشركين اللهم دمر أعداءك أعداء الدين اللهم انصر دينك وكتابك وسنة نبيك وعبادك الصالحين اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى اللهم آت نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم أصلح ذات بيننا وألف بين قلوبنا واهدنا سبل السلام اللهم اخرجنا من الظلمات إلى النور اللهم بارك لنا في أسماعنا وأبصارنا وقواتنا وأزواجنا وذرياتنا وأموالنا وجعلنا مباركين أينما كنا اللهم إنا نسألك الجنة وما قرب إليها من قول وعمل اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول وعمل اللهم اغفر لنا ما قدمنا وما أخرنا وما أسررنا وما أعلنا وما أنت أعلم به منا أنت المقدم وأنت المؤخر لا إله إلا أنت وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا وسلم قم الصلاة